Good morning. In Acts chapter 27, Paul is sailing to Rome, and we read the beginning of the trip account in Acts chapter 27, verses 1 through 4. When it was decided that we would sail for Italy, Paul and some other prisoners were handed over to a centurion named Julius, who belonged to the Imperial Regiment. We boarded a ship from Adramitium, about to sail for ports along the coast of the province of Asia, and we put out to sea. Aristarchus, a Macedonian from Thessalonica, was with us. The next day, we landed at Sidon, and Julius, in kindness to Paul, allowed him to go to his friends so that they might provide for his needs. From there, we put out to sea again and passed to the Lee of Cyprus because the winds were against us. When we set out to do anything for God, the enemy will make sure you encounter contrary winds, times when the winds are against you. In fact, if you're not sailing against the wind, chances are you're headed in the wrong direction. We read in Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Satan never let up, including the night before Jesus was crucified where we read in Luke 22, 3, Then Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, one of the twelve. Pastor and author Reimar Schulze writes, Be sure of this, my friend. Wherever you go today, Satan will go there also. He will try to get you at some street corner, at the office, or in the field. He will make you fall if you leave home without your spiritual armor on. If you leave your belt of truth hanging in the closet, your breastplate of righteousness standing by the door, your gospel shoes under the bed, or if you leave your shield of faith, the sword of the Spirit, and the helmet of salvation behind you, Satan will set a trap for you wherever you go. You will face contrary winds every day as surely as there is a sun in the sky. If you say at daybreak, I will pray whenever I get a chance today, in other words, putting it off, you just gave away your victory. Before long, the wrong words will come out of your mouth. You will look at forbidden fruits and display an improper attitude. The most foolish thing a man can do is to leave his home unarmed and spiritually naked. A fool says, I have no time to pray. But later on, he finds all kinds of time to attempt to repair the damage his prayerlessness has produced. The winds are contrary. They were so in paradise. They were so for the patriarchs. They were so for Moses to get Israel out of Egypt. They were so for Israel on the way to Canaan. They were so in the promised land. So the only biblical history of the church ends with the words, the winds were contrary, and at the end, and so we went to Rome. They went through those contrary winds, knowing that God was with them. Though the journey is rough, we will make it. And we will continue on this journey of contrary winds tomorrow with Pastor Allen on our Facebook page at the Village Church at World Golf Village. And then Pastor Mike will wrap up this series on Wednesday. At this time, I want to say thank you to my wife, and her helper, Melody Vickers, and to Jackie Rudy, Pastor Mike, and all the Tokoy Creek football moms who helped us deliver and serve the Toros before their win Friday night against Pedro Menendez. What a great bunch of young men these football-playing Toros are. And we're so thankful for their coaches and the support staff uh, for the great job that they do with our students. Also, don't forget this Wednesday's Lunch and Learn at noon here at the Village Church. This week's subject is the Council on Aging with our guest speaker, Amy Robinson. Amy started with the Council on Aging in 2019 as volunteer coordinator, and she became the development manager in February of this year. She's grateful to get to share with the community how the Council on Aging is their ally in the aging process and to help donors and volunteers find ways to make their most meaningful difference. On the menu this Wednesday is chicken gnocchi soup and festive salad. And you can sign up by calling the church office by noon tomorrow 
at 904-940-6768. Also, our Operation Christmas Child Mission trip is headed to Charlotte, North Carolina, November 27th through the 30th. We will be working three five-hour shifts in the Charlotte Processing Center this fall. And if you are interested in joining our team this year, please contact me as soon as possible for all the details. We have 15 spaces available this year. Now get out there, have a great week, and I'll see you on Friday with another Word for You Today. <laughs>